how do we go about AI in software testing? Should testers learn Python and eventually machine learning? Uh, AI is a big topic. Lots of people are asking me about this. They didn't ask me about this last year. The, the uh, ideas are uh, coming through uh, just, just this year. So it is, uh, it's a hot new topic. In fact, I've been asked a couple of other questions that are related to this, and I'm going to answer them all at the same time. Uh, Naveen asks, hi, sir. What is the latest exciting thing in software or testing that you want to share with us? And I would have to say that the latest exciting thing, although it's not exciting in a good way for me, um, but the latest exciting thing is, has to be the fact that so many people want to apply artificial intelligence to software testing or they need to test artificial intelligence systems. And Shirag asks, what would be your approach towards testing machine learning systems? So I'm asking a cluster of questions about this and now I will deal with it. First, let me talk about testing an artificial intelligence system and testing an artificial intelligence system. What, what I mean is testing a machine learning system. I mean, I'm talking about, um, uh, neural networks. If you're going to test a system like that, the number one thing to keep in mind is that machine learning systems are trained on a set of training data. And so you've got to ask, how might that training data be biased? There is a tremendous danger that data used to train machine learning systems are biased, that these data uh, have built into them uh, essentially mistakes, and that those therefore could turn around and uh, be terrible biases that will cause injustice to be done whenever these systems are used. So. Uh, the first thing that I would uh, do is try to question where did the data come from and how might it be biased? For instance, there are uh, uh, been systems that are designed to decide whether to give loans to uh, people that are systematically biased against black people. And we've got to be hyper vigilant about that sort of thing. The second thing that I am, I would be concerned about is something called adversarial data or adversarial images. Now these are uh, images or data that is uh, designed to fool the machine learning systems because machine learning doesn't work the same way that learning works for you or I. Machine learning is not like human learning. Uh, what machine learning does is it is basically an elaborate system for statistically associating input with output and how those statistical associations work are poorly understood. Once the system learns how input is connected to output, it, it can't explain that to you or I. This is a big problem in the industry because the machine just decides based on essentially its intuition and it, it can't justify what it's doing. And a problem with this is that sometimes there are, not sometimes, but all the time, I think, there can be bizarre side effects, bizarre relationships between input and output, where a picture which is 
it looks like a bunch of junk and garbage to us, the machine will say, oh, that's a kitten. That's a dog. And it doesn't look anything like a dog to us. And uh, the images which look like garbage, but which are identified as a kitten or a dog, those are called adversarial images. So if you're going to test a machine learning system, you need to learn all about ways to create adversarial data. Here's another example. There's a, a machine learning system used to identify hate speech that was created, I think, by Google or Facebook, one of the, one of the big guys. And researchers have uh, discovered that you can say anything you want as hate speech, and the system will not identify it as hate speech. As long as you erase all the spaces between the words and add the word love at the end of it. That's pretty ridiculous. Now, a human can read a sentence even if there are no spaces, and a human can tell that something is hate speech even if it has the word love at the end of it. But uh, researchers found that this was the, uh, it's, they called it the love attack. <laughs> it's the most effective way of doing hate speech and getting around the automatic detectors. So you've got to study the different ways that machine learning systems can be spoofed.